want to talk about gimmicks and I did a video last time about tilt and shift and that's kind of like a gimmicky thing sometimes it can be seriously but it can be gimmicky and I do sometimes uh, use this kind of thing like some little trick or something weird or quirky a gimmick to get out of uh, situations when I don't have inspiration couple of videos I made and I put links here are that tilt and shift one I built a little digital back for an old box camera that kind of thing and it can be very fun it can be an interesting way to generate images that you like and in my case at least it's a great way to get out of times without inspiration um, back during the first part of the pandemic when we were all staying at home and there was no travel and, and all that uh, obviously there was no street photography to be done anywhere um, so I was riding my bicycle a lot with uh, at the time with the XE2 that was my first uh, Fujifilm camera and kind of by accident I took a couple of pictures uh, with uh, multiple exposure and it was some something boring like a palm tree or something like that at the same time I had just bought a film scanner again because of uh, stay at home uh, I decided to scan some film and I started playing with uh, taking old slides and actually damaging them just painting them with markers or actually uh, etching them with acid of some sort stuff like that I said before I am um, attracted to images that have uh, lost and found detail stuff that makes you look at an image twice or kind of slowly find what the image is about stuff like that and sometimes gimmicks like tilt and shift or like damaging the negative are easy ways to get in those kind of images anyway a bit later when there started being more people in the street and starting getting out more I actually went out with the X100V and tried to do some multi-exposure photography in the street and again this is a gimmick but I used it as a tool to make images a bit more interesting you could say this is not let's say quote-unquote my real photography or it's not real photography or it is cheating or whatever but uh, who cares I I used it as something that would get creativity flowing a little bit better and it's fun and if in the way you get some image that can be cool or interesting well that's better one thing that I find that is useful when you do this kind of thing is set yourself some rules and then follow them and what I did as for rules for myself was the following I used always the same mode the X100V has uh, several modes of doing multi exposure and actually that's why I used it the other older Fuji cameras have simpler multi modes this one lets you keep the lighter part of the image or the darkest part of the images or lets you just blend or do I think there's like four different options something like that I typically use the darkest one because that makes it easy or nice actually to kind of build density into the image you pay attention to what's in the shade and you kind of add black to the image in a way and the rule I used was I would take three exposures for each uh, frame uh, my first kind of real street exposure and then very quickly after within seconds and that was part of the rule as well I would take two more exposures typically the second one was about improving the composition so I would add some leading lines or some some framing element or something like that and the last one was to add texture so the last one I would do 
sometimes just pointing down at the sidewalk or just adding some some gritty texture that I would see at the place. But uh, what was important, the main part of the rule for me was to take all three exposures within seconds of each other and try to do everything in camera and not blend anything in post or anything like that. I didn't do any of that here uh, at all. Only thing I did to the photos was to just process them black and white, most of them, because that's what I do. But, uh, but they're all JPEGs as they came from the X100V with the multi exposure stuff. Anyway, it's interesting to try these kind of experiments. It can get creativity going. It can send you in interesting ways that you didn't expect. So I really recommend it. I'm going to leave you with a gallery of these images. And until the next video, cheers and goodbye.